best darn face masks ever. These look at these. Oh, let's see if I can focus in on it. Come on. Come on. Focus. This thing is oh, this thing's not get, let me focus in on my there we go. Uh yeah. It is made in China, but um it's what's really cool about this mask, um, these masks, if you can get them, is that they um, they don't fray on your face. So as you're talking, um, the cotton on most masks will cap will uh, um, will well they'll fray. You know your your lips will move and then they'll catch little strands of the cotton and then the cotton will come loose and it'll start um, tickling your nose and, and your mouth and whatnot and then you have to remove the mask and put on another. This mask you can go for three days without changing the mask and uh, it, it doesn't fray on your face so it doesn't tickle you. It's, it remains, it, it uh, remains consistent and uh, I just don't know why I can't find any more of these and the stuff that I can find. I've tried all the masks, even the stuff they sell on Amazon, which they say is a good product. It, um, it's, I've had it, we've used it, and it's the same sort of masks that fray on your face. This thing doesn't. And I don't know what has happened to these masks. If um, somebody is going to even offer them, you know. It doesn't have, there's not much said on the box about them, just, and if you go and you look for these masks, if you go and you look for these masks, oh, there we go, 39 Industrial Park, Cinderbrook, Connecticut. So maybe I can find it there. 